50 days after the Capitol riot, lawmakers hear from Capitol Police leadership about why they were so caught off guard that day and what they're doing to make sure it never happens again. Caroline Shively has the latest from Washington. Seven weeks after rioters took over the U.S. Capitol building, leaving five people dead, lawmakers grilled police leaders about what went wrong on January 6th. How could that have happened? Once the Capitol was breached, was there a strategic plan to secure the building? The acting sergeant at arms said the mistakes came from the top. It pains me to say, but the intelligence missteps cascaded into inadequate preparation, which placed the health and lives of frontline officers at risk. Officials acknowledged while there was intelligence about a possible organized attack, the acting head of the Capitol Police said it wasn't specific. Although we knew the likelihood for violence by extremists, no credible threat indicated that tens of thousands would attack the U.S. Capitol. Congressional leaders have agreed that a 9-11 style commission is needed to investigate the attacks but are still at odds on the scope. Republicans want to look at other violence across the U.S. in the year before January 6th. So we cannot have artificial cherry picking of which terrible behavior does and which terrible behavior does not deserve scrutiny. It's about domestic terrorism. We want to solve this. And now I want, will do anything to have it be bipartisan. More than 275 people have been charged in connection with the riot, including at least half a dozen charged with terrorism.